So what's going on guys? So if you haven't heard, these images and video of the iPhone 7 are being circulated around out there and a lot of people are talking about this because usually when a new iPhone comes out in the future, these images before the phone comes out usually look a lot similar to what that phone's going to be. So that's why I'm talking about it. So now as far as what the phone looks like, yes, it looks very similar to the iPhone 6, no question about that. But when you look at the phone itself, I think there's some major improvements that this phone needs. And I would say starting with the button, I think you shouldn't even have a button on your phone these days. You can use a screen and if anyone wants more options especially with the new Macs that are out there where you can hold the trackpad and you can look up words and all that kind of stuff that's a cool feature but I would say with the touch screen you can do the same thing with that you don't need the button itself on there and then with the battery which is the biggest issue with the iPhone most people will agree that you're continuously charging your iPhone all the time and with the Nexus 6 that I use yeah you have to charge it often but not as much as an iPhone because the Nexus 6 has this super charging which is a great feature and I think that Apple really needs to work towards something like that. You need better charging and that might have to do with iOS itself. A lot of people out there, they think it's just the hardware. That might just be part of the issue. If iOS is not developed properly, it might be using a lot of resources that doesn't need to be using. Of course, there might be additional features that are unused while you're using something else. And that happens when you have a platform that's a work in progress all the time. But if you fix those kind of things where you're not using as much resources as the phone is using, you might have better battery. That's usually how it works. And you know when you have an Android phone, you're customizing it and you're doing everything that you want with it, you can see how you can save batteries. So this is what I think Apple needs to do. You really need to give users a little bit more control of the phone. I know this is something crazy to you guys, but you have to give people more control over the phone so they can utilize the features they want to use. And if there's certain things they're not using, let them switch them off. I know you could do that to a point with the iPhone, but I think people need to get even more control over that phone so they can do what they want. And that might help the battery issue. Now, if you're gonna work on a new battery, I would say this. You have to stop looking at the phone having to be the thinnest phone out there. I think this is a flawed logic about a phone, especially when people want to use it whenever they want to, like I said before. So this is the kind of stuff that makes a phone evolve. It's important to get it right or close to right when you're actually working on the phone, and that's going to be the main phone out there for the whole year. It's even more important that you take the feedback from the users after the previous versions of the phone, and you enhance the next versions of it. And I think Apple has to work a little bit better on that too. And I would think that improving the screen even you know to get to that resolution that a lot of people are getting used to with some of the other phones they see out there you know really make this a terrific and great phone and impress people I would say that this conceptual image of the iPhone looks pretty cool to me I mean it looks similar to the other iPhones I've held the iPhone before the iPhone 6 in the store I thought it was very thin but I would not accept the thinness of the phone to compromise the battery that's just my personal opinion but anyways you guys can let me know what you think about the iPhone or even these stories about the iPhone 7 or what could be the iPhone 7. Post your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.